what are the the stats that are running the game right now? So I try to get I build up from the basic stuff like on base percentage. The in the book, know, you're talking in about the book Smart in section baseball. two, mm-hmm. all the way up to this idea of wins above replacement, which I think a lot of people have heard and maybe don't necessarily understand how war it works. war, which leads to so many bad headlines. Like what is it really, good oh for? Oh my god! Sure. Don't just you know. Okay, just, I didn't mean to, but, yeah, yes, but well, okay. you know, you're you're just <laughs> paraphrase, right? You're, you're actually it's a knee jerk. It's a knee jerk thing, isn't it? Me. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's. But I, when I interviewed all these front office executives, analysts, GMs, presidents for the book, that's how they're valuing players. Because I would ask the question, how do you decide how much to pay a free agent, right? You've mm-hmm. got to, do I give him 12 million a year? Do I give him 18 million a year? You have to figure out what his production was worth. And so it's that, it's a concept. They all have their own formulas. Well, what the hell is it for people who don't know what war is? You're trying to add up everything a player does. So for a hitter, it's his value of his bat, value of his base running, value of his fielding, which I gets its own chapter because... Teams are throwing so many, they're throwing analysts at this problem, resources at how to value defense. Mm-hmm. But the idea is you value up everything he does and compare it to a standard baseline. You could compare it to the average, but when I asked all these analysts for major league teams, they said, no, we do replacement level. This idea of the player that you could just reach down to AAA and get for free to fill in when someone got hurt, lower than an average. And they're adding everything up, comparing to the average, and that's the one number they get for, they do it that way for a hitter, there's a way to do it for a pitcher doesn't matter how you calculate it, but it's that idea of value everything that he does individually, compare it to a, a standard across the league. Mm-hmm. That's what a player is worth on the field. And then you can go from there to figuring out, all right, that's how much I pay in for a free agent. So for example. taking the fill-in hosts of the Rich Eisen show. Right, who are all replacement. And whatever. Yeah. So, it's, well, I mean, <laughs> they're, uh, you know, talk about my wife, Deion Sanders. Obviously, there's there's some cleanup hitters in that lineup. Um <laughs> Now, so we would take this the the ratings mm-hmm. that I would get sitting in this chair, and my that would be my win above replacement. What or relative to for, their rel- ratings? Right? Is that yes. what that, is that essentially? They, they what don't it, rate better than you do, do they? I don't know. Okay, I'm assuming. I get I'm assuming they do. Yes. And I and then every single time that my key card works, I come to work every day. I'm then so maybe thrilled. Maybe you're below replacement. I just level don't too. know. You can have a but, negative war. That but is that's possible. A, that's essentially what's going on here with these baseball that's players. That's the idea. The Rich Eisen Show weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience. If you liked some of that, get some more of that on the Rich Eisen Show app. Follow all the information you see right here on the Rich Eisen Show.